loves, bonjour, ma buhai, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to tick off one of the items on my luxury wish list 2022. So if you're interested to know which item I'm taking off from my list, just stay tuned. Hey loves, welcome back! By the way, if you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Roma and it is so nice to meet you. I do videos such as unboxing, hauls, reviews, first impressions of some contemporary as well as luxury items such as handbags, shoes, SLGs. So if you're interested in one of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button. That way you won't miss any of my videos. Also, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up as well as leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think about it as it will help the algorithm of my channel in YouTube. Also, if you haven't already, go check me out on Instagram where I do post some OOTD outfit of the day and how I wear and style these items on a daily basis. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for your support and for always tuning in. By the way, I did some timestamps throughout the video, so you can check out on the description box down below the different timestamps and feel free to hop on on those chapters. And lastly, I would like to let you know that I did a video of my luxury wish list 2022. So if you haven't checked it out, I'm going to put the card just right there as well as the link of the video in the description down below so you can check it out and have a look what are the different items on my wish list. And at the same time, I also already ticked up some of the items from my wish list. I'm going to put the links of those different unboxings or reveal in the description down below. Go check it out so you have an idea as well what are the different items that I have already ticked up from my wish list 2022. Okay, so without further ado, I am excited to share with you guys the item that I am going to take down from my luxury wish list 2022. And it is from the house brand Hermes. So I have unboxed a lot of Hermes this past few weeks, okay? But this is one of the long-awaited items. So without further ado, I'm going to share it with you guys. So I'm just going to show you the packaging first. As all of you know how the packaging looks like, it is the orange packaging through and through. By the way, this item I have purchased it at the boutique. So you have an idea. And the inside is... Okay, I'm so excited. And it came in this beautiful orange box. And in the orange box, I have <laughs> I have a horse head sugar. And then the box looks like this. So I'm just going to do the unboxing first, reveal you the item, and then I'm going to give you all those different details afterwards. So we'll start from unboxing. So I have in here, as always, the booklet where we have the receipt of the item itself. I'm going to put that on the side and the box looks like this so i have the normal ribbon without the date as you can see it's just that hermes paris let me know in the comment section down below what do you think this item is so let's get on to the unboxing so i'm going to unbox it going to have a look and then going to share with you guys so okay It has a booklet. 
Um, I'll show that to you afterwards. Baker. Uh, so Baker. So. And there you have it. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. So excited is it here? And here is my very first. Hermes handbag. Oh. Wow. It is so tiny. <laughs> Whoa! So here is the mini Evelyn or Evelyn TPM or Evelyn 16. I don't know the name, it goes with a lot of names. So, in short, this is the Evelyn Très Petit Model, the size 16, which is the mini Evelyn in gold leather and in gold hardware okay guys so you just saw me reveal this beautiful handbag sorry that was my dog Marvel I'm just going to show you the booklet that it has arrived with so the booklet is actually oh okay it's a booklet where it mentioned Le Cuir Hermes. So it's, yeah. it's in also in different languages. So it mentioned in here the Hermes leather, as well as how to preserve the appearances to avoid the common mistakes, uh, give it time to rest, okay? And trust your object to Hermes Artisan. So a booklet that is quite informative how to take care of your Hermes handbag so now just going to give you first and foremost the specs of the handbag itself so I just have a note here because I have a lot of info to give you guys so I'm just going from time to time looking right there so this is the Hermes Eveline 16 or TPM so like I mentioned earlier 16 because the dimension of it is 16 centimeter and TPM is the short for Très Petit Model which is a very small model so this specific one is in the color gold and in the gold hardware so this is the what we call gold on gold and this one currently retails for 1,400 euros. So this is a bag in Torillon Clemence leather and it has also a woolly canvas shoulder strap which is actually going to show you in this other pouch that I haven't shown you yet. So it, the, the strap also arrived in its own dust bag and this is how the shoulder strap looks like so it's you cannot adjust it it is just one length but for my um, my size it's the right length and as you can see this is in a woolly canvas strap and then the let's go to the handbag as you can see in here it's a perforated leather with H for Hermes and there's a on the back a leather tab closure which is in here and as you can see like I've mentioned earlier as for here as well as on the side the D-ring and also for the strap as you can see in here they are all they are all gold plated hardware and as you can see here it is made in France and I think oh yeah you can see it also in the handbag it is under there and it's mentioned MS made in France and like I've mentioned earlier the dimensions are 16 centimeter by 18 centimeter by 
five centimeter. So those are the specs of the Mini Evelyn 16. Now I'm just going to give you uh, the reasons why I have opted for the Evelyn in the TPM size. So I'm just going to uh, give you the reasons why I chose the Evelyn and then why the size and then why this specific color. So first and foremost, why the Evelyn? I do have three handbags that I am eyeing at Hermes. Those are, of course, the Evelyn, well, the Très Petit model, and then there is the Picotin 18 lock and the um, Birkin 30. So those are the three handbags that I am currently eyeing. And the first handbag that I would like to have is the Evelyn. First and foremost, for its price point. It is still an expensive handbag, but for Hermes, this is a entry-level handbag. And it's a good way for me, I think, to discover and see if I like the craftsmanship as well as the leather itself. So I think this is a great starter entry-level handbag to choose at Hermes, at, at least for me though. And then why I chose the Hermes, uh, sorry, why I chose the Evelyn? Because I like the shape. It is not that, uh, you know, large, unlike the Picotin, for example. So that's why I opted for the Evelyn first. It could be the small size or the PM size. It is still, you know, quite slim, not very large. So when I put it against my body, it's not bulging. So that is the main reason why I wanted the Evelyn uh, for its the, the slim size as well as the price point. And then now why the Très Petit Model instead of the Petit Model? It's because I do have some totes as well. I do like big handbags as well as small handbags. For, but for this specific occasion or reasoning I wanted to have a small handbag because I want to from time to time when I go out I do not want to bring all of my house inside my bag and I just want to bring the essentials so by having a small handbag it will force me just to bring the essentials with me and that's why I opted for the smaller size so the Très Petit Model the very small uh, model I have uh, been able to try the Petit Model at the boutique. It was in the color black, so the fact that it's black, it kind of like gave me the impression of it's quite small, but in comparison to this model itself, the Petit Model is quite big. <laughs> but yeah, I and by trying that, I was even 200% sure that this is the size that I really wanted instead of the Petit Model. So that's why I opted for the Très Petit Model because um, for just to be able to put the essentials and not having a big handbag. And then lastly, the color combo. Well, I really, really wanted to have as a first Hermes handbag to have it in the color gold since this is also one of the hardest color to obtain at Hermes. And I was very lucky enough to be able to score the gold and also in the gold hardware. To be honest, I requested this at my, um, uh, I mentioned it to my SA and he's a, a direct friend of mine and i think um i mentioned it he kind of like forgot it and then two or three months later i just reminded him and then i think two months after he texted me and he told me roma are you still interested for a uh, evelyn tpm in gold and gold and i was like you bet i do <laughs> so that's why i went to the boutique and got it he it wasn't uh, it was when it was shown to me it was still um, It was in the box and it was all plastic still so it means that when it arrived No one has seen the box 
and the bag so it was really just dedicated for me so yeah i've opted for the gold in gold because the gold is the ms color in short and then in the gold hardware because all of my jewelries in general are in gold so i like the gold hardware and lastly why the gold why the gold because i have the orange sandals in gold and i also have my hermes belt in gold and with the gold hardware and everything so yeah i was really on the gold moment and with this one also as you can see i like the fact that it has the white stitching that you can also see and that's why i wanted the gold one because i think the um, white stitches you can also see it. you can only see it on the gold as well as on the a tube but on the other color um handbags it's the same color stitches so that's why i wanted that gold one so those were the reasons why i wanted the evelyn in the small size as well as in this color and lastly why the Evelyn first because I love crossbody handbags and that's the reason why I opted for this first um, instead of the picotin because the picotin I can only use it you know handbag as a handbag I can only carry it as a handbag or on the crook of my arm but this one I can uh, wear it as a crossbody so I have both of my hands free and I will also um, I think I'll buy a another strap from Samorga so I can also wear it as a shoulder bag but I think I do have another um, gold strap that I've purchased from Amazon but I do love the one in at Samorga so I think I might buy the one from Samorga so there you go guys those were the reason why I opted for the Hermes Mini Evelyn 16 TPM okay so now I'm just going to show you how I wear it or how I will wear it and how it goes with my um, body frame so just to let you know I am five foot two so one meter sixty and I have in the clothing size in European I'm a 36 38 so in between small and medium so I'm just going to show you so first and foremost when you put the up the strap just like that and then on the other side a quick reminder uh, the strap doesn't have any um, it's not adjustable so you will see how it goes on me once I put it so that's how it is so now I'm just going to show you how it goes on my frame Okay, so now I'm just going to show you what can fit inside the Evelyn TPM handbag. So, first and foremost, okay, so now I took off the paper bag inside. As you can see, it's quite flimsy. So, I'm not sure if I'll be using any inserts. Uh, let me know if uh, for those of you who have this handbag if it's interesting to have an insert for this handbag or not as for now I am not considering purchasing one because I'm afraid that it will take some space since it's quite small already so I'm still debating about that but nevertheless I'm just going to show you what can fit inside the handbag so I have my Chanel card holder so I can put it like so, I'm going to show you. And then I have my um, key clay. And then what else? I have another card holder. And just to show you, that's how it looks like. And I think you still have some spaces above. So if you want, you can still put something above. But I do not want my handbag to bulge. So I will not put a lot more other stuff inside. Uh, what you can also do is, I'm going to try another thing. I will 
take my mini pochette accessoire where I already have my um, six key holder inside and some other stuff as well. So I'm going to put it, uh, let's have a look. I can put it like that. And if that's the case, yeah, perfect. It goes well, oh, nicer. Look, it looks like that. So you can put it and then inside it will look like that. And I can still, if I have a, you know, slim card holder, I can still put it on the side. It will bulge a bit, but not much. So that's still perfect for me. And then I can put my phone up or if I have another wallet, I can do that. And what's good is it has a strap in here so I can close it and it's protected. Wow, it is small, but it can, you know, fit a lot but of course if you put a lot more it will be a lot it will bulge so that's not my the main goal so yeah but i mean it can fit a lot of stuff well at least the essential like i mentioned so i'm quite happy with that um so yeah that's what you can fit in a mini Evelyn. So there you go guys, that was my Hermes reveal and the ticking off of one of the items on my luxury wishlist 2022. Wow, I finally have an Hermes handbag. I'm so happy and grateful that I have been able to add this in my collection and I can wait to use it and wear it. I will let you know what I think about it um, in a few months time. Uh, I'll show you if there are some wear and tear. And if you're interested to that kind of video, be sure to watch out because it will arrive in a few months time. And also, um, like I've mentioned earlier, for those of you who might already have this handbag, what do you suggest or advise concerning the insert? Do you think it's um, better to put an insert or not? And if it is yes, from which brand? Zamorga, Zamoni, 7RP? So yeah, I'm open to any advices and, um, you know, feedback. So let me know in the comment section down below. And also, I hope that this video has entertained you in a certain way because it most definitely entertained me. <laughs> and if that was the case, please consider giving this video a big thumbs up as it will help the algorithms of my channel in YouTube. And also, like I mentioned, any feedback is welcome. Put them in the comment section down below. And for those of you who are enjoying the contents of my channel, but aren't subscribed yet what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button as well as the notification button that way you won't miss any of my future video so until then i hope that you all stay safe and see you on the next video take care bye